Hey, this is Wally and Mabel from Southwest Portland Martial Arts. We were hoping to show you guys some more jujitsu today. We're gonna work the guillotine today, but first we wanted to talk a little bit about um, winning and losing in jujitsu. Here's my rule. If I'm always winning or always losing, it's either not fun for me or not fun for my partner or both, right? Sometimes if you're always winning, it feels pretty fun, but almost certainly your partner is not having any fun. Maybe some people, they're really tough and they can handle constantly losing. So that's a thing, right? <laughs> but if you're always winning, that's usually your time to play a little bit different of a game. So don't play your best submissions, your best positions. That'll give your partner a chance. Another way you can do it is, if Mabel's always winning, she might let me start in an advantageous position, like on top of her or behind her. Does that make sense to you, Mabel? Yeah, okay, cool. And it still might be the case that I always win, but if we make it so that my position's really bad at the beginning, if we give her the advantage, she at least gets some of the time that she's doing pretty well. Cool, so let's get on and talk about the guillotine. You guys ready? So the, the guillotine is the technique we're going over today. Do you know what a guillotine is, maybe? Yeah? What, not in jiu-jitsu, but what's a guillotine for real? Sheen, yeah, it's a big machine that cuts off people's heads. So it's kind of a scary word, but don't worry, in jiu-jitsu, we have a tap, right? So it's totally okay. So this is a front choke. So to do this move, I'm gonna stand in front of Mabel, and it's got six steps, at least the way I break it down. So she's here in front of me. Move over here so my head doesn't go out of frame. Here, step one is reach diagonally to the shoulder, right? One, one, two. So now my armpit goes on her shoulder. One, two. Three is I take my arm and wrap it all the way around, right? We got three steps, all right? Touch, shoulder, and then four is I'm gonna put my hands together. There's lots of different ways to put your hands together. I'm gonna to do what's called a gable grip here. So here, see how my thumbs are next to each other there? That's four. Five is push her head down, and then six is squeeze like a snake. And she taps, and I let go right away. Now because this series is about working jujitsu with someone who's bigger than you, or someone who's smaller than you, I am going to get so that I am shorter than Mabel. This is gonna make it easier for her to close the move. <laughs> it's okay to give hugs in between moves. Go ahead, you ready? You don't have to go step by step. You, oh, remember, yes, there. And you notice, I don't know if it's easy to see, but I actually helped her get that a little bit by kind of moving my head up like this. It's important to help your partner get it when they're first learning a move then eventually you give them resistance. Now we'll show another angle. So Mabel's here facing me. I'll do it to her so you can see what's going on on her back here. One, two, three, four, five, six. One really common mistake in this guillotine is to try and pull up to choke the person, but it's actually, yeah, it's wrong. Here's the little triangle you're choking them with between your bicep and your lat, the side of your body, and you're actually making that smaller by crunching yourself down. So now we'll provide this angle for you. Mabel's in front of me here. <laughs> Go ahead. Robot style. All right. Doosh. Badoonk. That is the guillotine. Next, we'll play a little bit of game that's gonna look like it's unrelated. It's about playing from stand-up, but the place you get the guillotine is a lot is actually against a standing partner. We are gonna play a game, a stand-up game. Uh-oh, Mabel has an axe. So um, this game is supposed to simulate trying to get a single or a double leg takedown, which is one of the most common ways to bring somebody to the ground and um, so here's the way the, the game works. Why don't you, I see a little break in the box here, why don't you make the axe finish our box there? That way we know not to step out of bounds. So we have a little box here made out of padded sticks 
But you could use whatever you want. You could use pillows or pads or stuffed animals or whatever. Um, you just need something to like keep things contained a little bit. Yeah, a stick. Cool. All right. You ready? Can you put your axe down though? We can't play this game with an axe in your hand. I know. It seems like you should. So the object of the game is I am trying to touch Mabel on either of her legs with either of my hands, and she's trying to touch me on my legs with either of her hands. Right? So she gets a point if, go ahead and slap my leg. Yep, that's right. I get a point if, this, right? So she starts at one end of the box, I start at the other end of the box. Do you, <laughs> she likes that axe. I don't know if you guys can see the axe. Do you understand how to play? Okay, let's try it with, I get one hand and you get two. We'll see if that's fair or unfair, okay? You ready? You can block with your hands. You can hit my, my leg. You're not allowed to kick me though. You're not allowed to headbutt me. And there's no grabbing, right? It's just a touch. Does that make sense? Cool. All right. Slap. Punch. All right. Here we go. Try and get my leg. Nice block. Whoop. Fix your border. Oh, nice. Nice. One point for you. Good job. You ready? One person gets a point each side. It's okay. Cool. Ready? Here we go. Oh, nice. Okay, so now Mabel was already starting to play the little bit harder version of the game, which we'll get into next after we come back to our guillotine. All right? Nice job, guys. Oh, what should we call this game? Touch your leg? Touch your leg. So we're gonna make the guillotine a little bit more active instead of Mabel just standing there. She's actually gonna come at me. I'm gonna stop her when I'm a guillotine her. This is really common uh, against inexperienced players who don't know what they're really doing in jujitsu, but are pretty aggressive. Like they're like, ah, I wanna go, I'm gonna play. Which is fine, right? Um, so what Mabel is gonna do is she's gonna stand right here and she's going to put on her bull horns. And then she's gonna bend over at the waist. She's gonna imagine her bull's horns are still there and she's gonna hit me in the belly with her head, not too hard. Boom, right? Okay, then she's gonna do it again. Go ahead, Mabel. Whoa. Do it again. And I'm gonna stick out my hands and touch her on the shoulders. Go ahead. That's step one for me. Step two, go ahead and back up, do it again, is I'm gonna bring my legs out really wide and I'm gonna bend over at the waist too. Boom. Right? That's step two. The bigger your partner is, the more structure you'll need to have to, to withstand this. Good. One more time and I'll add the choke. So she's there. She runs towards me. One, two, is the legs out, and then three. Kind of let go just a teeny bit and she'll fall into me and I find the guillotine there and then I choke. Whoop, there's the choke. Right? Okay, so now in order to be the bowl for Mabel, I have to get really low. It's totally, totally no problem. Ready, man? Stand on up. The first step you're gonna do is hit me in the shoulders with your hands. Right? That's right. And then you're gonna widen your feet. Yes! Good. Ready? Back up. I'll come at you like a very slow bowl. I don't want to leave my horns up, though. I don't want to poke my partner. Oh, come forward a little bit so you're not off camera. There you go, right there. Perfect. Hit the shoulders, widen the feet, and then guillotine. Yes. Oh, 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 my gosh, you spun around. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah, that's weird, isn't it? So you'll hit me, and then you'll go. Okay, I'll help you. Don't worry. It's kind of confusing. Yes, yes. And I'm actually glad we got that on camera because I bet a lot of people are going to make that same mistake and they'll see it and they'll be like, aha. Uh -huh. You ready? Be the bull. Hit me with your hands and the shoulders. Widen your stance. Oh, almost. Stay right there. This arm is going to go over. 
Oh, no, I messed it up too. There it is. Yep, link your hands together. Squeeze. Nice. Okay, let's do it one more time each. Ready? You beat a bowl. Bend over bowl. There you go. Boom. One, two, three. Here. All right, so now we're going to play version two of the touch the leg game. Instead of when Mabel hits me on the leg, we stop. We're like, oh, break. Right? We just keep playing. So if she hits me on the leg, she can just keep going. Back, 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 back. All right, right. So we slap in. We bump this. And then we play. I get one arm, you get two. And then we're going to play some jujitsu, like we do at the end of every video. Right? <laughs> she gets to start on top of me. She gets that little advantage. Ready? Steady? Go. I might go slow. Whoa! Yeah, get those hooks in. Oh, nice. Tap. You didn't even need them. Woo, nice job. What's the name of that submission we worked today? <laughs> the, gu the guillotine, yeah, it, cut, it cuts throats, right? Um, and it's kind of the, in some ways, the opposite of the rear naked choke, right? The rear naked choke is behind the person with that elbow in the middle. The guillotine is in front of that person with the elbow in the middle. Cool, nice work, guys. Let us know if you have any thoughts.